Another oddball in a last movie in the John Ford at Columbia set uh, is number 175 from 1958, The Last Hurrah, and this movie is all about Spencer Tracy's character of Frank Skeffington. He has been the mayor in this town for four or five terms so far. This is his last political arena. He is going into this wiser, older, resigned to the fact that this is going to be his last attempt to get into power and he is all about this town that he lives in and throughout the movie which i won't go into too much in plot because it's basically a, a piece about his political aspirations and his life and how he has affected people within the town we get to see him on the campaign trail and it's not a kind of modern campaign trail that we see this is a man who goes about town helping people out whether they know it or whether they don't and what i was really kind of curious about this is probably taking my own prejudices into it. I just don't like politicians at the best of time and going into this I was always expecting something a little bit dubious or underhanded from our main character which ultimately is never really there. It was just my own bias that I was taking into it and what you get is you get a character who is extremely aware of his personality, his power and how he can wield it and you see him throughout the movie use it to good effect to help people whether it be a widow who is struggling uh, with the death of her partner and what the future holds for her whether it's to get uh, houses built within the town to help out the situation of people in poverty in there or whether it's just to rub uh, somebody's nose in it because they were someone who uh, was always antagonistic to him. Uh, and what this movie really does is it shows you the change in the political culture, how it goes from that uh, personable stage where you're out and about, you're being honest, you're being truthful to an extent and putting your face out there and talking to the people to a change into a more media driven almost lie-centric type of way, we see his opposition who people that just don't like Frank galvanise behind because they want to oust him and they push this guy forward and through his speeches, which you only see a couple of them, you can tell that he's not really prepared for this, he's not able-bodied, he's not quick on his feet and as smart and, and politically agile as Frank is and he's just being pushed because he has the best chance to beat him. And some of the things they do around about him are, are fabrications to push him forward in the public eye. And it's the change from the old guard into this new media savvy blitz creek of just, you know, media posters, putting the name out there, putting it in front of people, getting him uh, the good chance to beat Frank because, not because of his politics or what he stands for, what he's willing to do for the town, but simply because they have the money to back him and push him in front of it. When we get to the end of the movie, when you get to see all the things that Frank has to go through to get this done, to see the people that buy into him and love him for what he is, it has a real kick to it and I was really engaged by the movie at the end of it. I really liked the character of Frank. I loved some of the sub characters like his son who seems to just be airy fairy throughout the whole uh, movie not really taking in the real world he's just floating through life in a bubble and uh, things kind of kick him later on and it's a heartbreaking moment to see that person suddenly realize what he hadn't been realizing all along i like uh, the, the surrogate son within his nephew that comes along to see him and how he's going to um, tackle this political landscape and how he goes from somebody that's not interested to politics to really seeing some of the benefits that it can do uh, to the town and how these people aren't just vocal points looking to get into power but how they can actually use that power. I wasn't 100% sold in the movie because of the bias I went into it. I'm sure in a rewatch I'm going to enjoy it much, much more. Spencer Tracy's performance was fantastic. I loved the way some of the scenes were set up. There's a parade at the end with Spencer Tracy's character walking, which was just expertly staged and just stunning to look at and a wonderful kind of finale to the movie. Almost it just kind of hammers home a few points. And I, I thought The Last Two Rab is a really enjoyable, well-staged, well-shot incredibly well acted enjoyable piece if it wasn't from my own personal bias. I'm looking forward to checking this one out in a little while longer 
give me some time to breathe and go back into it, knowing the nature of the man uh, and seeing if I enjoy it. Have you seen it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.